Hi there, welcome to another episode of I'm Alex. Today, I'm going to bring you to Joo Chiat Vicinity. What's so nice about this locality? It consists of many pre-war historical conservation shop house and it convenience the owner who stay around this area with easy short walking distance to the good food and easy to access to all the public transportation and only short drive to all this, the CBD area and also Changi Airport So today, I'm showing you one very unique yet reasonable bungalow in Juche. So let's go, let's take a look Now here we are at this gigantic bungalow at Kun Seng Road number 68 The one and only auspicious number at this entire street 6868 represent good luck So let me bring you in, show you this house this is a three and a half storey detached house with a basement with a land size of 7,260 with a build up of 13,000 square feet. Having a frontage of child meter allow you to park six to seven cars. Nowadays, Bangalore itself was subdivided into the minimum of only 4,000 or maybe 5,000. With a bigger plot of land of this property at 7,260, allow you to have more land plot size, bigger building, and also more outdoor space. So come, let me bring you in further. The building was also built elevated with just a few steps up. If this is a concern, we can always build a side slope in the corner to convenience marketing trolley or in case for your chair. Welcome to this five-storey newly developed bungalow. We are sitting on the orientation of north-south facing. Chinese believe Zuo Nan Chao Pei is a good feng shui, it's a good selected feng shui for every house. This interior consists of approximately 1,005 living space and it comes with a home leaf that comes from all the way from basement all the way to the attic area. So if any folks that will be staying with you, you don't have to concern that they have to climb too much of stairs. What's so special about this development? This allows multi-generation family to stay together not three, but four or five, which means your grandparents or your great-grandparents can stay together. With this big family, we require a big living hall. So a living hall like this entitles us to put in 12 to 15 seated so far. Now I will bring you to the second part of the living hall, which is the dining area. We can fit in a 12 to 14 seated table with this wall. You can put in a television, that means we can watch television while having our dinner. At the side of, this, uh, of the development, we can even create an alfresco dining. So in festive seasons, where all families come in, we can have interaction even just side by side. I always imagine myself having a big kitchen like this, well ventilated even for major cooking. This kitchen was fully furnished with full carpentry work, even with plenty of storages. Also divided into two separate parts. This will be the preparation corner where we can do our cutting, our washing. Then this will be our main cooking area. And you do have the option to close up the door for major cooking. For the dry kitchen, we also have ample space. We'll be able to build an island top in this area for light cooking and also baking. Think about it, the children can also sit at the side of the top table for their breakfast before they go to school. So let me bring you to the swimming pool now. Here we are at our very own outdoor swimming pool. The developer also fully utilized the lamp pot, adding this 50 feet long swimming pool. And you know what? This also comes with a jacuzzi feature at the end of the swimming pool. And this space is definitely big enough to let the entire family to enjoy the afternoon sun together. For most development, adding a basement is additional cost to a developer. We will need a deeper piling, additional foundation work, and not all plot of land is able to put in a basement. So here we are in the basement. Let me show you how impressive it was built. Here, you have this soundproof theatre room situated in the front of the basement. Easily, we can fit in six to eight recliner, or build a full-length sofa set like a karaoke room. Beside it, you have your very own gym room, an enclosed room with air condition, huge space for adding more equipment. Now we already have two jogging tracks, weight equipment and also a bicycle. There is also a skylight panel built here at the ceiling to bring in more natural light to the room. Also a full height mirror to build for self-training purposes. There is two rooms built side by side. We can use it as a study room or a game room. It's both like a multi-purpose room with a natural skylight at the side. So there is natural light that also heat in. So while you're doing or you're using in the daytime, you won't feel that you are in the basement. Now, this is the favorite place that I like in basement. 
Look at the space that we have. We can fit in a billet table, a bar counter with water point. So think about it. If you have friends and family with a 10 or 20 person gathering, this is definitely a good place to chew. We can easily fit in couches at the side and also tables for drinks. So let me also bring you to the end of the basement. This is a big, nice, quiet conference room. You can also consider to change it to a home office or you can use it as a meeting room. The features really fit in with furnitures and also you know what? The developer also added a skylight to add brightness to the basement. So next, let me bring you up to the feature bedrooms. Let me share some possible concepts for this property. It's able for a big multi-generation family to create um, privacy space for individual families. So for example, on the attic, we have three bedrooms that may be able for a family to stay in. On the third level, we have four bedrooms. We can use that for another family or we can split into two times two bedrooms. On level two, there is a total of five bedrooms en suite. We can separate it into two families with a three bedrooms and a two bedrooms. So with a total of 13 bedrooms, we will be able to split into even four individual families staying in this gigantic bungalow. You can also enjoy facility without paying management fee. This also gives you an option to free up names in the family to buy other properties for investment. Here we are at the top level of this building. We also call it an attic. I like the idea of this Mitsubishi leaf that was placed in the center of the building where left and right are the bedrooms. It creates more privacy for this entire level. In the event, if there's any old folks that wanted to stay with you, you have the option whether to choose they want to stay on the higher level or on the lower level. The entire building consists of 13 bedrooms. On the attic itself, we have three bedrooms, third level we have four bedrooms and on the second level we have five bedrooms. All the bedrooms are en suite and you can easily fit in a queen size bed or even a king size bed. The space is wonderful and excellent light come in from all angles in order to create very good natural light to the bedrooms itself. On every level we have our individual master bedroom. It's really good space where you can really cater in to every family need. So if let's say there is a couple of families that wanted to stay together in this development, each will enjoy their own master bedroom. Here we are at the attic master bedrooms. First, let me bring you to the balcony. This is the best part of the place on the attic I love. Look at this environment, the unblocked view. It's 270 degrees unblocked cage view that we have. Nice balcony, wide and spacious. We can put amber of outdoor furniture that you personally like. And this is also one of the landed highest buildings in this estate. Short walk to the Head Girls Primary School and beside the Head Girls Primary School, we do have a nice park that many owners or I would say they train their dogs in the area or it will be a nice rolling area. Short walk also to the Diamond Food Centre. And you know what? We have a full nice city view. The MBS is straight right on the left of this building. It's easy accessible. We can really even walk to the uh, Parkway Parade or any a lot of eatery in this area. I will bring you more and show you the bedroom size. Look at how big the bedroom is. It's 5.5 meters times 5.3 meters. It's spacious and squarish. Even the bed where it built in the center, you still have ample space at the side. High ceiling, very natural bright, uh, natural light that come into this bedroom from both the side and also the front. This area was entitled to add on even more furniture like tables, side tables or even we have our own very own walk-in wardrobe and attached bathroom. If you find the, the wardrobe is not sufficient, we can always add, add additional wardrobe at the side in this area. Space is wonderful. A walk-in wardrobe linked to the attached bathroom. Full height customized wardrobe with plenty of storage. See the space that we have in the drawers and plenty of hanging poles for this wardrobe itself. That makes it linked to your bathroom. The black and white tiles giving you additional concept with high ceiling, good ventilation, uh, natural skylight that will come into the bathroom and also with a rain shower system. It's a very practical bathroom space for family use. 
Here we are at the last room on the second level with a space of 3 meter times 6 meter with full parquet flooring and three full height windows are built at the corners in this room that enhance more brightness to this bedroom. Normally, development usually should have neighbour at the back and also at the side. But for this, you have full privacy, yet you have full greenery surrounding. This is definitely a good room to cater for the children. You also have your very own walk-in wardrobe and also bathroom. We are here at the largest bedroom on the second level with a size of 6.8 times 7.5 meter. Think about it, how large this space you have. Um, with a design with two queen-size beds side by side, giving you an idea if the children want to stay over over the weekends uh, to bump in together with the parents. It's like a staycation concept. Look at the tiles that was built. It's full granite throughout even to your walk-in wardrobe. Uh, a vanity area for the ladies. At the side, there are still ample space that we can even fit in like a massage chair and Look at this full height wardrobe that was built. One side, we can cater to put on a large television. And at the side, there are also a study table with uh, plenty of storages. There is a six door closet that was full height built. I think this is a special feature that the developer had emphasized where the back will be the TV console with a side table. So there's a side door, we can walk out to the balcony, placing some nice outdoor furniture, or if you like plants, we can even do some, uh, adding on some plants that also give you a little bit more lifestyle to this bedroom. Let me bring you into this walk-in wardrobe, you will be impressed on the space that we have, aside from the wardrobe that we have that was earlier mentioned. Welcome to the Women Paradise. Look at the space of this wardrobe that was specially built by the developer. Ember space two side where you have plenty of storages. On top, we can always add on those uh, or we can put in also a winter wear that we seldom use. The developer is also very generous creating this spacious and full height walking wardrobe. This area, we can also add a full height mirror to create another dimension in this walking wardrobe. The ample space allows you to slowly take your time to choose what you want to wear for the day. Here, it leads us to the master attached bathroom. You have two sinks for both Mr. and Mrs. that you can use at the same time. There is also this nice featured wall that enhances the design of this bathroom. We have also both a bathtub, a stand shower with a rain shower system. With the two side window, we can also brighten the entire bathroom. So why is this bungalow a good buy? The surrounding brand new bungalow with a land of 4,003 to 5,000 is already asking for 12 million or higher. Based on the land easily range from 2,003 to 2,005 per square feet. As for this unit in the same district as comparison, the land cost for this uh, property averaging approximately 1,001 per square feet for land causing. 1,001 times the land size of 7,260 work out to be 7.986 million. The rebuilding costs approximately $350, not including the basement costs. So if we base on this property of 13,000 times $350, it work out to be 4,550,000. So with a total of the land cost plus the rebuilding costs, okay, it work out to be a total of 12,536,000. So we are currently only asking 12.5 million, yet negotiable. And to build a house uh, this, with this gigantic size, you will easily need another two to three years to build this. So it's definitely a good steal in District 15. Remember what I say? There's one good, no two good. If both are good, price not good. Please like, share and subscribe. I'm Alex and I will see you soon.